Do you want to know what I assign my own children to do when we're in the car or hanging out at dinner? I bust out the Number Hive app. You can get it on your phone or you can play it on the PC. So I do it with my own personal children and my students. So if you're playing from the PC, you'll see up here at the top right that there are three options. You can download it to your phone, but you also have this option to play it on your computer. So students can just click on that. I actually just took this link, play.numberhive.org, and I pasted it in as a resource in Google Classroom because when students finish early, this is what I want them to be doing. Now there's several things you can do. You can practice, which is playing against the computer. Uh, you can join a game or host a game. So if students are pairing up, one student's gonna host a game and give that code to their partner who's going to join the game. Or if you just wanna play with somebody uh, online, you can just click play online. There's no chat feature or anything in there. You're just doing math practice. So I'm gonna click down here on practice and type in my name. And I'll do hard mode. I am playing against AI. You can see here I'm playing against the computer. So the way this works is I want the two numbers at the bottom to multiply to give me something on the board. But here's the trick. You can only change one of the numbers. So I have a seven right here. So if I change this to one times seven, I'm able to play. AI can now change the one or the seven. They change the seven to a three and one times three is three. Now I need to get four in a row. So notice that the AI is blocking me and it makes it a little bit harder for me to get four in a row. Now I see here 18, 18 is a multiple of three and I have a three. So three times six is 18, so I click that. Now I have two in a row. All right, AI is blocking me again. Okay, and I have six and five. Look around here, I have 60, 12 times five is 60. So I'll just start trying to go this way. Uh, the AI cannot get four in a row this way, right? Even if they got the 99, there would not be four in a row, so I'm not too worried. Right now, can I get 11 or 110? Doesn't look like it. Um, 33, nope. Let's see, well, 12, what's a multiple of 12? Where is there a multiple of 12? Uh, 12 times 10. Kind of in the zone. Okay, so there's my 11. So if I do 11 times 3, I get 33. And of course, the AI was able to successfully block me, so that kind of sucks, but I can do 11 times 1. Of course, 11 times 6 is 66. It's going to block me. I'm dead. Okay, um, that's 7 times 5, 6. Okay, what if I use six times nine? It gets me four in a row up here, potentially. Now I do want to block, so I'm gonna do four times 11 is 44, so that they can't get four down that way. I need one and six. Um, let's see, I've got five. Five times 12 is 60, that's the biggest that I could get. Four times eight. Okay, eight times 10, 10 times five. Mm -hmm. Yep, that was a good move. Okay, three times two is six. If I can just get a one, I'll be golden. Okay, it doesn't look like AI is able to get four in a row anywhere. Um, Notice that I'm strategizing and I'm thinking. I'm not mindlessly filling out a worksheet. I'm thinking about what my potential responses are. Now it's not visual. It doesn't visualize the three times seven is 21. It is still relying on me knowing my math facts and my factors, but there's a lot more thinking, strategizing than just mindlessly filling out the numbers. So this actually sticks better. It's a lot more fun. All right, what can I play around in here? Um, I don't know if that's seven. I'll do seven times seven is 49. Where's this guy going? Okay, um, 72. 40, five times eight is 40, but five times 11 is 55, so it's gonna block me. Should have seen that coming. Dang it. Okay. 
Where are my multiples? 11. 11 times 11 is 121, but that's not going to get me anywhere. The other multiple, 11 times 22. All right, I'm going to do the 11 times 2 just because it kind of blocks off a whole chunk for me. This guy can't get four in a row up here, so play way up there. Knock yourself out. Now I have a lot of 11s. And 11 times 8 is 88. I don't know why I'm doing that. All right, that doesn't get him four in a row, but I have 8 times 8. 8 times 9, 72. I can't get four in a row this way, so not sure. Oh, 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 here we go. I did it. Four in a row. See? No fist pumps for the work sheet, but I do do fist pumps when I play number hive.